Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Keto Cooker with Ron, and I'm Ron. Well, if you're new, welcome. If you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and subscribe to the YouTube channel? It helps other people know when they post the latest video like this one. Well, today we made, um, well, first of all, Sunday was the first time that I had uh, that pink turnip, and I really loved it. I kind of becoming a huge fan of it. So now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to make with it. And so today we're eating kind of healthy, uh, no, I don't know. The food looks kind of like burnt or whatever bit, but it's just because of the spices I had in the bottom of the pan. So what I did, let me show, let me show you first of all, okay? I made uh, turnip uh, home fries, and then I made a couple of eggs, and I ground it up a uh, hamburger patty. And that's my meal for noontime. And I ground it up to the three extra patties. I fried up three extra patties for later. And then the rest of the ground beef, I bought a two pound package of ground beef to start using up the uh, ground beef because I got a meat order in yesterday. I'll be making a meatloaf with that. So when I make a meatloaf with that, I'll show you the process of that one too. So what we did with this particular one, we boiled the uh, turnip first and then we softened it up. We didn't really have to, but we cubed it all up in little dices and then put it in a Ziploc bag. And then I made my own herb blend with uh, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, take all the taste and a little bit of uh, parsley flakes and uh, some Italian seasoning and some uh, oregano leaves and, and that were on the ground kind. And then I put it in a Ziploc bag, a little bit of olive oil, and then I just give it a little mix. And then I put it in the frying pan, fried it up for about 20 minutes. And then I put my hamburger in, hamburgers in there, fried them all up. And then I made a couple of eggs. And that's my dinner for today. Now, um, Oh, you want to say we have to, to let me try one. I mean, they are fully cooked. Check that out, guys, huh? How did that look good? Thumbs up. Uh, next time, though, instead of frying them up, I think what I'm going to do is just put them in a sheeting pan and bake them off in the oven for about 35 or 40 minutes and prep them up ahead of time. But I like that method of putting them in the Ziploc bag the, the, the all the seasoning because they're, they're really well seasoned. I really, really love this. And, of course, my, my meat um, is fully cooked. Just taking a piece out of that to show you guys. My ground beef is fully cooked. I like my, I like my meat cooked, by the way, all the way through. How do you like your meat? Maybe that'll be the question of the day. How do you like your meat cooked? Think you really well done or a chard or a uh, chard or well done to me? And then I, uh, on the hamburger, I put some uh, big salt and pepper. Uh, everything, again, everything's all the taste and you do you, but this is a good meal for me today. And without having any prep time at all, on the uh, turnip, though, what I did this time, I pre-boiled it first for about 15, 20 minutes, kind of softened it up. And I know I really didn't have to do that, but it made a huge difference in frying these up. So if you're going to fry them, but if you just got, if, you, if you're going to fry them, but if you're going to bake them off in the oven for about 35 or 40 minutes, you don't really have to boil them up. But uh, I did it that way for a change, but look at, look at how nice that is, see? Good. There's no bit. There's no bit of taste because everybody's wondering, Ron, is there any bit of taste to turn up? Well, not that kind of turn up. Yeah, the kind, yeah. But everything is all well seasoning. Um, the only thing is about my eggs. Uh, in, in my video, you saw that I broke the egg yolk when I flipped it. But you know, I'm okay with that too. And this is a good meal for me. And I got three other meals for later, so I'll probably have another hamburger later and have a couple of hamburgers later in the week. So I'm happy, I'm good to go. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I love the keto, and don't forget to check out my other channel, uh, Keto. Um, yeah, uh, love the keto, runs weight loss journey, and I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of week 116, and I'm getting ready to post up an older video with a follow-up to that video. Um, when I did a beef and butter fast, you might find that one pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, love you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay vigilant, um, and have a great day. You mean you guys are amazing.